Hey guys, what is up? My name is Nerdy Rapper, and I have a very informational video for you guys with a new theory about the Black Ops 3 Zombies Easter Egg, so be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss anything. Also, write your thoughts on this brand new theory in the comments below. Without any further ado, let's get to the theory. Now, as we all know, Triarch released two new Zombies trailers for Black Ops 3 earlier in the week to leave people guessing at what is to come, and I think that I have figured it out. We all know the amazing grand Easter Egg that we have all been working on since we met our four heroes, Tank Dempsey, Edward Rechtaven, and the other two that no one really cares about. We also know that in the new trailer for The Giant, Rick Tobin shoots his older self in the face, leaving everyone unsure of what is happening in the storyline. But what if the answers are not in the trailer? What if they lie in the past games and maps and the Shadows of Evil trailer that was also released? Now, I went back to past zombie maps, Kino de Totem being the biggest help to try to unravel Treyarch's plan, and I think I got it. The plan is that Edward Rick Tobin is not actually Edward Rick Tobin. Do you guys remember the blank portrait on the wall of Kino? Well, what if that picture was not Rick Tobin, but it was actually Mr. Waternoose? Does that name seem familiar? Well, it should. Mr. Waternoose is a main antagonist from Monsters, Inc. Now, I know that you guys are all thinking I'm crazy, but let me explain. In Monsters, Inc., Mr. Waternoose is the owner of a monster's power plant which gains its power through the screams of children. Now, Rick Tobin is a man who's power hungry and won't let anything get in his way. Also, if you listen to these audio clips from Kino, you will hear Rick Tobin say, Oh, I cannot hear their screams if they no longer have mouths. Their screams are so erotic. Yeah. As you can see right here, Rick Tobin not only wants power, but he also loves to hear screams. Rick Tobin is actually Mr. Waternoose. Now from this point on, I did not know what else to do to try to support my theory. So I did some research and I found a lot more connections. Now if you guys all remember Boo, the adorable little girl who got stuck in the monster world, she was the reason that Mr. Waternoose's plans fell through at the end of Monsters, Inc. Well, what if Boo was just a nickname and her real name was Samantha? That would mean that Boo, aka Samantha, was the reason that Mr. Waternoose's plans were discovered, and Mr. Waternoose wanted revenge. So he made a plan to kill Boo, Samantha, and then he would be content with himself. Except he did not succeed and ended up giving Boo the power to control the zombies. Now, Boo was mad, and is now causing hell for Mr. Waternoose, aka Rick Tobin. Makes sense, right? No? Well, I kept looking for evidence, and I found this picture of the laugh floor. Looks normal, right? Just a bunch of monsters going to scare children in the human world. But what's that small monster on the ground in the front? It kinda looks like... The Shadows of Evil Monster! That's right, the boss monster from Call of Duty is actually within the movie Monsters, Inc. How has no one ever put this together yet? Now I have one more piece of evidence to show you that will definitely make you believe that I am right about this theory. In this picture of Mr. Waternoose, you can see that he is a crab-like monster and has six legs. Well, I was doing some more digging around in Origins and found something that I cannot believe that no one has ever found yet. Edward Richtofen has six arms. The same amount of legs as Mr. Waternoose. This is no coincidence. Edward Richtofen is actually Mr. Waternoose. Guys, let me know what you think of this theory. Of course this is all just speculation, but I think I might be onto something here. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.